Hi Pisces, how are you doing? This is your last reading for January 2020. Well, almost, because next reading is going to kind of like cross over. But this is the last official reading, basically, before we head into the February readings. So this reading is for your, <clears throat> excuse me, for your love life, for your romantic relationships, anything that is going to come through. The reading will be quite specific, especially with me. I'm quite specific with the reading. So it's literally, if it's your story, you'll know it's your story. If it's not, then it, it's not going to resonate with you. But let's see what the spirits do. Let's see what happens when we pull out these cards. Okay, talking about spirits. Let's invite your spirit guides into my spirit room so that we can get some more insight into what is going on with your love life, guys. What is going on with your romantic love life? We're going to look into the tarot cards and see exactly what is the situation? I'm going to be drawing out a card for you, a card out for your person, joint energy card of the relationship. And then we're going to do some action cards with the tarot of the princesses and see what kind of action was taken towards you and your person. And of course, as usual, spirit guides will always get the last say in the spirit room, okay? So they will give you the last message or information that you need to know about this connection, whatever it may be. Um, <clears throat> Yes, uh, by the way, my name is Deborah, and this is my channel, Energy of Everything, and thank you for clicking on, uh, always appreciate it, more than you'll ever know, and um, if you guys like the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, and you can also uh, subscribe and hit the notification bell, if that is what you wish to do, and then you'll always know when the new videos come out, because they come out once a week, usually Sunday or Monday. So, okay, anything else? Um, no. no, yeah, if you want a personal reading with me, just check in the description box below. There's my email there. I've got links to my Instagram accounts. There's always ways to reach out to me. Um, info is at the bottom there as well. And then you will be able to ask me about that. It's pretty straightforward. <laughs> there we go. So, um, this is it, guys. This is the last reading that I am actually doing for January 2020, and it's your reading. So I'm very curious as to what energies are going to come out. There has been a lot of strange energies January. Guys, if this is just me, then I don't know. But there's been a lot of funny things going on in people's relationships. So I'm curious to see what's happening with you, Pisces. Okay, let's see. Oh, oh my goodness. The first card out, and we have got the world. Oh, holy moly card. I'm... I'm happy. First card out looks really good. This is your energy. It is like, what has what have you been doing in January? It is like whatever dreams that you or hopes that you've had for the new year, it seems like you're going in the direction of those things. That is very good. It's like the beginning of the year. The first month is over and you get the world card. Wow. <laughs> A person's energy. Hmm. You've got four swords in the reverse in a person's energy. This is interesting. I like what I'm seeing so far. Joint energy. Oh my goodness. You have got page of pentacles. Wow. No wonder you've got the world card there. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Pisces, this looks good. Let's look deeper into the situation. From where my point of view is right now. Um, usually, like I told you, my readings can be real specific. And it's good and also bad at the same time because sometimes it doesn't resonate with everyone. But it's meant, the, the spirit guides that will come through, they are insistent upon giving a message to their people, which would be you. And it would be like, they need to hear this. It's important right now. So it's like, there's nothing I can do about it. But so far what I'm looking at here, it seems to me like you have recently met somebody new. If you haven't met someone new, there is somebody that is coming in for you. Um, I think you've met somebody and you are the one who is going, I'm interested in a person because of the way that the page of pentacles is offering that pentacle from your side to here. Okay. And the person that you are dealing with, I mean, that will cause it's like you just met your dream person. You just met somebody that you just went, you know, this could be something amazing. This could be where my world starts, where the, my dreams start coming true, because you met somebody that you really like, and you actually came out, and with this page of pentacles, you are offering them some kind of 
promise, security, let's move to the future, let's make this thing move on. They on their side, very interesting, because they've got the Four of Swords energy here, it is like they, cons they it's like, I feel like this is new. So they're in this process of getting to know you, they're in this process of going, okay, I think it's time for me to get into possibly a relationship again. Um, they could have maybe not been uh, dating for a long time. Okay, I, it, I don't think this is an ex-person. I mean, it could be an ex-person that you feel like you're going back to. And this person's going, okay, I, I, I think I can do this with you again. But it could also be a new person. Okay, I want to look at energies coming through about actions. What actions have been taken? Okay, besides this page of pentacles being in the middle of the relationship here. What actions did you take to this person? Oh, Eight of Cups in the, in the reverse position. Interesting. And then what actions have they taken? Seven of Swords. Yeah, there is Swords on this person's side. This is interesting. This is interesting. It is like whoever this person is, whoever you've dealt with, they have been um, through it in their life. I feel like they have had, if you don't know, whomever you are interested in at the moment, Pisces, the person that you're connecting with has not, has it, has not had it easy. There has been some pain in their life, just so that you know what you're dealing with. Okay, so let's have a look after this. What is now, again, let's look into this connection as joint energy again. Let's see. Wow. Five of Wands. Woo, I tell you. Um, like I was saying, your person, I'm jumping around. I always jump around. It just depends what I see first. <laughs> so your person with that Seven of Swords energy um, it actually matches the card above them. The Seven of Swords reversed and the Four of Swords reversed. It is like they have come out of a time in their life where, I mean, if you look at this card, it's a beautiful deck, Tarot of the Princesses. She's walking on fire. But she, you know, people who, who do fire walking and they walk over the fire and they don't burn their feet. It is like, you know, she went, or he, she or he, this is just a she, a she in the, the image, but whomever they are, went through that in their life and they actually went through a tough time, but they managed to get through it and they came out on the other side and they actually took a break. I feel like they've taken a break in their own, um, their own world. Things could have happened in their life that was extremely stressful. And they've come through it. They've actually rested. And with regards to, it could be things that hurt their, hurt their, their emotions, hurt their heart. Because if you look at the swords, I mean, it's all above. It's above the heart. It's in the throat. It's in the, in the mind, you know, the third eye. It's all those kinds of th places where injuries could have happened. And they've actually laid down. I feel like they've healed themselves in the situation. And they are ready, they could be ready, they're really considering to step out of this perhaps like almost like cut off energy, healing myself. I'm, I'm ready to step into something, I'm ready to reach out to another person. This is very interesting, very, very interesting reading, very nice reading. I actually like it a lot. Um, the energy that comes through when I'm looking at all of this, it's calm. It's not like turbulent energy, it's, it's like... This person has learned things that have calmed them down. And I feel you, you yourself, I mean, you're Pisces, you're not, you're pretty calm, you're pretty chilled, you know what I mean? So the, the matching of this energy, um, it is a nice match, I feel, between you and this person. Okay? Okay, now, again, it is beautiful what I'm seeing. It's almost like your energy is, like I said, matching. Yeah, you got in your energy, you got this Eight of Cups energy, and it, it's beautiful. It's almost like you yourself have been finding yourself. You've been on this journey. I don't know if it's a spiritual journey or whatever you've been doing, but you've been on a journey almost like a, you've been doing inner work on yourself. So it's almost matching what they have been doing, okay? And it's like... Whatever relationships or whatever you've been doing in the past, this is definitely a reading for single person who has recently met somebody, sort of a situation, or is interested in somebody. So it's like whatever relationships you've been in the past, you've actually been able to sit down 
and really reevaluate and look into what went wrong in those relationships. What was my part in doing what I did? What was their part? Why did these things happen? This is a beautiful, beautiful energy. You know, it's matching and I love this. You know, it's almost like I'm talking about one person, but I'm not. I'm talking about two different people. This is very nice. And with that world card being there, hallelujah. That's all I can say. It's like you've realized I'm not going to make the same mistakes again. I think I'm going to move forward into a place, into a position where I'm going to do things differently. And it's interesting because the joint energy of this, I don't know if I can call it yet a relationship, but if it is moving into that direction, is the five of wands. And five of wands energy is about talking. It is about my point of view, your point of view. How do you view this? I view this like this. What is your take on relationships? This is how I think should, things should be. This is how I saw things in my own life. So there is these discussions. So even though this is a new relationship, I feel like both of you have got some real experience when it comes to being hurt in the past and things not working out. And it's like both of you are taking this meeting between the two of you not likely. You're taking it quite seriously and I think you both want to enter into this new situation and not repeat the past situations here. I really, really love this reading, Pisces. This is beautiful for me. I don't know what's the last message from Spirit, but Spirit Guides, wow, in this situation here that's coming out, both I feel these the Pisces and their person I feel like there's a level of maturity that is in this reading that I often don't see, guys. Congratulations. I love it so much. I don't know what, what thought processes, what you've been doing, what they've been doing, but oh, it's almost like, you know, thank God. Thank you, angels. Thank you, spirit guides. I feel like with the world card being there, it is like your spirit people, your spirit people, people, your guides, your angels, your whatever, your ancestors, whatever you're going to call it, it is like they have witnessed your past and they know what you've been through and the load that you've carried and I feel like the work that you're doing to heal yourself from everything, you know, and they are granting you this gift with this world card of bringing a person into your energy that matches your healing, you know. We can only attract a person into our lives that is an equal match to who we are. Okay, know that. Not, a, not um, cult, like uh, money-wise or, you know, whatever, like life-wise, but spiritual-wise, energy-wise. And your healing your work on yourself, a lot of thinking, a lot of, you know, reevaluating how you do things has attracted someone who has been through the same pro process, progress as well as you have. And I feel like it's almost like a gift. Honestly, Pisces, I feel like it is a gift for you. I just got that vibe. Okay, so you've got seven of ones in a message. So there is a lot of this whomever you are dealing with here this person could have could get a lot of attention from other people so that is why the world card could be there and the pentacles came up it is like you know the page of pentacles it is like wow wow this person is someone who actually can get a lot of attention from other people and they're looking at me and it's like can this really be be my dreams coming true and they're taking me very seriously because we are having very serious discussions about life about relationships about you and me you know and I love that this card just absolutely mirrors everything that is happening on this beautiful grass mat it is like seven of swords seven of wands Whatever has happened in the past, I mean, whatever you two of you have experienced in your lives in the past, 2019, 2018, 2017, wherever, how far back it goes, it is like this time of your life has shifted. That is the world card. It is like the shifting of 
time for you. This is the beginning of a new decade. It's like this is the time. It is now that the shift happens and you actually start to see um, the things that you've always wanted in your life to start materializing itself into the real world. This is a beautiful reading. That Seven of Wands energy, whatever things have happened in your past, whatever has happened in their past, it is shifting away because everything happens from within inside of you first. And I feel like both of you have learned so much, excuse me, have learned so much in the past about where you've come from that you know what you're not going to take into the future. This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful reading. Pisces, I'm sending you guys light and love. I feel just emotional for you. I feel, um, I, I, for some reason, I, I'm feeling this, this very peaceful, like chilled, like calm feeling with regards to this relationship. And I tell you, this is exactly what a Pisces needs in their life. This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful reading, Pisces. I'm sending you light and love. Bye.